hello students i hope we are safe and healthy at home today we will start new lesson the address from snapshot in the beginning of the lesson the address by marga aminko the short story is pregnant account of a daughter who goes in search of her mother's belongings after the war in holland when she finds them the objects evoke memories of her earlier life however she decides to leave them all behind and resolves to move on so here in the beginning itself introduction it is stated that the memories memories of the mother especially the belongings of the mother and here we have to think about the our own mother suppose something would happen maybe due to war situation maybe due to cyclone situation maybe due to flood situation or uh, earthquake any natural calamity or man made disaster due to that or separation uh, you have already known that when uh, india and pakistan during that time also means the separation uh, it is every time dangerous and whenever uh, we are there we have to face so many problems and those who are there they have to again take care of their uh, children as well sometime uh, children may suffer because because of the war uh, situation you may not be there and after you means when you are alive okay at least you can manage but the person who is a prominent person the head of the family if they that person is not there then the condition of the family uh, may be totally different so here now we have to think about the uh, thinking and in this year it is specially mentioned about the war um, account of a daughter who goes in search of mother's belonging after war so uh, here the character of the daughter it is mentioned and she goes in search of the belongings of the mother and condition is post war after war condition in uh, holland when she finds them the objects evoke memories of earlier life however she decides to leave them all behind and resolve to move on and then she observed everything uh, that all the objects whatever the belongings were that evoke also all the memories but finally she had taken decision what is that she decides to leave them all behind and resolve to move on and she kept all that important things important belongings of the mother as it is and move on uh, her life next so why she had taken such type of decision uh, as a reader there are so many questions and so many questions are not answered so here a reader has to think about that what would happen to the uh, girl uh, after means when she was there she observed the mother's belonging but again she had taken the decision to leave that all the things as it is and to go on from that place so here um, ending it is unanswered um, and we have to think about the um, all the characters like that so many uh, movies pictures uh, you might be watching and in that um, ending there is a suspense and reader has to think more about that you know what will happen to the character so we will start uh, the story <laughs> in that specially uh, before starting the story uh, we will think about the characters here mrs s daughter mrs darling mrs darling's daughter 
and here important place is mentioned and that place is Marconi Street number 46. Here uh, the whole story it is reflected and the main setting is the place Marconi Street number 46 and in the beginning itself author uh, mentioned the character and that character is Mrs. S. Daughter. Do you still know me? I asked. The woman looked at me searchingly. She had opened the door a chink. I came closer and stood on the step. No, I don't know you. And here the uh, opening it is with the question that is uh, do you still know me? I asked. Suppose somebody is your old acquaintance. You may ask uh, such type of question when you will meet the same person after so many years. So <laughs> this is the important question we are here thinking. Do you still know me? I asked. The woman looked me searchingly and here we are observing the woman she is not that much happy and she looked searchingly something she had opened the door a chink and she had opened the door but uh, in a chink manner i came closer and stood on the step no i don't know you and when someone is denying you someone will say that i don't recognize you even though that person is your old acquaintance how do you feel and hear that type of experience maybe that person is denying due to some selfish also motive and what is that selfish motive uh, we will think as the course of the story uh, the plot uh, development will answer all the questions i am mrs s daughter so now here it is in the beginning uh, now here author mentioned the character that is mrs s daughter she held her hand on the door as though she wanted to prevent it opening any further her face gave absolutely no sign of recognition so here her face uh, whenever you are accepting someone that all facial expressions uh, your gesture will define that how is your mood and will you accept or not and so here um, her face gave absolutely no sign of recognition and on her face she was showing such a gesture such a facial expressions that uh, nothing would happen now she has uh, decided not to recognize like that here uh, condition we can observe she kept staring at me in silence and when someone is a stranger and how we are looking at the stranger <laughs> like that here uh, the woman she was uh, staring at the mrs s daughter and how in silence so she was not speaking anything she kept staring at me in silence perhaps i was mistaken i thought and sometime you may think that whatever uh, the address that is the same address and i am right i am on the right place but then also why here such type of experience i am getting so you may think to correct yourself so here perhaps i was mistaken i thought perhaps it isn't her perhaps it may happen that the, i am thinking about the lady but that lady may not be the same may be different like that here uh, mrs s daughter started thinking i had seen her 
only once and here uh, she is mentioning that i had seen her only once so it might be happening fleetingly and that was years ago and that was also not uh, one month before or year so many years ago i have uh, seen her so here um, it was most probably that uh, i had rung, wrong rang the wrong bell and uh, probably she was thinking that there is a possibility that i might have uh, rung the wrong bell means i am there means at the place that place may be different so here the woman let go of the door and stiff on the side she was wearing my mother's green knitted cardigan and now she observed the uh, woman's costume and in that again she realized that she was wearing my mother's green knitted cardigan the wooden buttons were rather pale from washing and she observed very minutely she observed the wooden buttons of that green knitted cardigan due to washing now uh, the shine of that buttons the wooden buttons were rather pale from washing and the color of that it is now pale color and the reason may be due to washing she saw that i was looking at the cardigan and half him herself again behind the door but i knew now that i was right and after realizing this that the same means the green knitted cardigan of the mother uh, she was wearing so then mrs s daughter confirm that i am on the right place so here but i knew that i was right well you knew my mother i asked and now again the cross question it is asked well you knew my mother i asked have you come back said the woman and the woman is replying and that is the surprise thing reply okay we may not expect such type of reply from the old acquaintance and maybe the friend so have you come back said the woman i thought that no one had come back so here suppose somebody will give you something to keep valuable things to keep safe and they may go somewhere else maybe due to the flood situation war situation cyclone situation for any reason and when that the person the real owner of that you know, belongings when that person will come and if you will not recognize that person how will be the condition of that person and when you will say the same thing i thought no one had come back and here uh, she was thinking that now nothing would happen no one will come back and all the belongings would be of now that same lady so here only me the door opened and closed in the passage behind her a musty smell emerged and here and again double standard nature uh, we are observing in the next statement and what is that statement i regret i cannot do anything for you and the woman is saying that i regret i wish to help you but i regret i cannot do anything for you i have come here specially on the train i wanted to talk to you for a moment and here the mrs s daughter is pleading requesting her and informing her the real situation and what is that real situation here i have come here specially on the train i wanted to talk to you for a moment so here she was requesting but what would be the reply it is not convenient for me now said the woman and it is not convenient now as per my schedule 
this time I may not give like that. Maybe uh, her thinking and she was now replying with a different manner. Means she is now neglecting, avoiding the Mrs. S daughter purposefully. This is that was the motive of that woman, and that we can observe. Now here, uh, I can't see you another time. And again, the reply it is again negative. I can't see you another time. She nodded and cautiously closed the door. Means cautiously closed the door. Means he had taken that care, full care that. And now uh, that Mrs. S daughter will go back and will not again visit. And cautiously close the door as though uh, no one inside the house should be disturbed. And that again important aspect uh, we are here observed that nobody will understand uh, the inside who was there and who was asking about the uh, mother. So here this is again the important thing we can observe. I looked at the nameplate again. And again, she was reconfirming the same place. I looked at the nameplate, darling. It said in black letters on white enamel and on the jam a bit uh, higher, the number, number 46. So here, now uh, author is mentioning only this number 46 here. Afterwards, again, the street name will be mentioned. Means here the character is Mrs. Darling's character and she observed on the uh, nameplate. As, as I walked slowly back uh, to the station, I thought about my mother. And now uh, how the Mrs. S daughter came there by train. Now here again the back journey, back to the pavilion, understand, here, as I walk slowly back to the station, why slowly, because now Mrs. S daughter is nervous, the Mrs. S daughter was uh, very eager to see her mother's belongings, but now uh, whatever the decisions they had taken because of the darling's negative approach, maybe selfish approach, because of that here she was not able to see her mother's belongings. And that all the memories are attached to the, means the price is not important here, but the memories attached with that all the belongings, that is more important. Then. As I walked slowly back to the station, I thought about my mother who had given me the address years ago. And years ago, now mother is no more and mother had given the address to the missus. Here, the daughter we can say, the missus's daughter is recalling all the things and here we had give, uh, we who had given me the address years ago. I had been in the first half of the... So here, it, the place is already here mentioned, that is number 46 and Marconi Street afterwards it will come. Here it is mentioned, it had been in the first half of the war. I was home for a few days and it struck me immediately that something or other about the rooms had changed. And now she started recalling the previous events. And in that previous event, what is the, I missed various things. And she was observing that from her house, so many things uh, she missed. And what my mother was surprised, I should have noticed so quickly. And here, mother observed and mother was surprised that my daughter, she observed and quickly realized that now all the important things, uh, whichever it was there in the house, now it was not there. 
Then she told me about Mrs. Dolling. I had never heard of her, but apparently she was an old acquaintance of my mother. And now here, author started uh, describing about this Mrs. Dolling and who was that Mrs. Dolling here. The Mrs. Dolling was the old acquaintance of the mother. Then here. One more new information uh, we are here getting, whom she hadn't seen for years. She had suddenly turned up and renewed their contact. Since then, she had come regularly. And so many years that lady was not there, but now frequently the same lady might be visiting that place. And reason here, what would be the reason for here? Uh, since then she had come regularly and she used to visit regularly and what she used to do here every time she leaves her here uh, every time she leaves here she takes something home with her so here every visit she used to take uh, some thing from the house means the mother's belongings and here uh, said my mother she took all the table silver in one go and then the antiquity plates that hung there she had trouble uh, lugging those large vessels and I'm worried that she got a creak in her back from the crockery my mother shook her head uh, pityingly i would never have dared ask her she suggested it to me herself she even insisted she wanted to save all my nice things if we have to live here we shall lose everything she says due to the war situation suppose it may happen that all the belongings, important belongings, we may lose due to the war situation. So it would be better to give it to the old means the friend and that friend will keep all the belongings safe. So here this line is important that uh, she wanted to save all my nice things and she wanted to save all that things uh, with the friend or the old acquaintance, if we have to live here, we shall lose everything, she says. And she uh, stated that important thing. Then, have you agreed with her that she should keep everything, I asked. And this was the uh, statement. What kind of statement here it is, we are observing. We are observing that uh, this is the negative thing we are observing about the uh, Mrs. S because uh, she had taken decision to give all the belongings to the darling but she has not confirmed all means that her motive or intention. So here have you agreed? So here daughter is asking this question have you agreed with her? that she should keep everything. And now here what is the answer? As if that's necessary, my mother cried. I would simply hear uh, again one more important thing. We are observing that as if that's necessary. And now it may be the necessity of the time she may not be uh, from uh, her heart, she may not be thinking to give all that belongings to the uh, darling, Mrs. Darling, but it may be the necessity of that time. It would simply be an insult to talk like this and think about the risk she is running each time she goes out of our door with the full suitcase or bag and each time whenever she used to come in the interval she used to take the all important things and the, with full bag of the suitcase 
then here my mother seemed to notice that i was not entirely convinced my mother seemed to notice that i was not entirely convinced so here mother used to notice that mother used to uh, observe that daughter is not at all convinced with this uh, idea this decision she looked at me reprovingly and after that we spoke no more about that but uh, after that maybe there was a disapproval on the of uh, the uh, daughter but that dis uh, after that disapproval uh, there was no more talk about the same event meanwhile i had arrived at the station and now this is uh, the thing here we are observing that um, mrs s daughter she started recalling all the things while walking she was recalling all the things and now she reached meanwhile i had arrived the station without having paid much attention to things on the way and she had not paid any attention to the other things on the same place but she was more interested on only the number 46 and that was the marconi street number 46 and that was the place important place for her and now that place if it is not good then what about the other things uh, she was not at all interested and she was in the thought of mother mother's belongings and all she started recalling the things about the mrs uh, s means the mother and the mrs stolly then next what happened here meanwhile i had arrived at the station without having paid much attention uh, to things on the way i was walking in familiar uh, places again for the first time since the war but i did not want to go further uh, than i than was necessary so here again we are observing um, the state of mind we can analyze her state of mind in that clearly mentioned i was walking in familiar places again for the first time since the war but i did not want to go further than was necessary and she was again confirming reconfirming the place and that was the same place but till uh, there was a question in her mind i didn't want to upset myself with the sight of uh, streets and houses full of memories from precious time and she was again uh, assurance means there is one statement and in that she is mentioning that i didn't want to upset myself and now this is really the uh, upsetting thing if somebody would insult like you means like uh, the thing which it is belongs to you but still that person is not ready to accept you so here uh, again we are observing the same thing that i didn't want to upset myself with a sight of a uh, street and houses full of memories from a precious time so all that memories uh, that time precious time and especially the memories are important here then in the train back i saw mrs dorling in front of me again as i had the first time i met her it was the morning after the day my mother had told me about her i had got up late and coming downstairs i saw my mother about to see someone out a woman with a broad back there is my daughter said my mother she beckoned to me the woman nodded and picked up the suitcase under the coat rack she wore a brown coat and shapeless hat so here now again uh, the memories of the all the things now she again started recalling the things of the mother and whatever mother used to tell 
here there is my daughter said my mother and mother had told her that there is my daughter also uh, she beckoned to me and the woman nodded and picked up the suitcase under the uh, coat rack she wore a brown coat and shapeless hat so here the physical uh, appearance means here uh, the costume of that lady is the Uh, Mrs. Dorling here it is mentioned. And now next what uh, here more ideas. What is that idea? It is expressed here. Does she live far away? I asked. And here who is now taking information about the lady? About the old acquaintance of mother. Here the daughter is taking from the mother. Mrs. S. That uh, about the does she live far away and the distance or the place she might be expecting. Seeing the difficulty, uh, she had going out of the house with heavy case in Marconi Street. Uh, said my mother. Again, she recollected the same address. and that is the marconi street in number 46 in marconi street uh, said my mother number 46 remember that and the word is here remember that important thing that is the marconi street number 46 i had remembered it but i had waited a long time to go there initially after the liberation i was absolutely not interested in all that stored stuff naturally i was also rather afraid of it so now this passage it is also the psychological analysis of the mrs s daughter she started means after post means the post war how the condition is changing and all the psychologically how someone is disturbed that also here i had remembered it and again she is stating that i had remember all that things and about the place marconi street and number 46 the setting uh, here it is we have to keep in mind then next but i had waited a long time to go there and she was uh, stating again that she had waited to go there the same place initially after the liberation i was absolutely not interested means initially after the liberation whenever that freedom uh, after the freedom she wanted to go there the same place where all the belongings of the mothers uh, that woman had taken but here um, i was absolutely not interested in all that stored stuff and naturally i naturally i was also rather afraid of it and naturally she was thinking i was also afraid of it so why there would be the fear about that same thing means when you were observing all the stuffs or the belongings whatever it was earlier and they you may again uh, involved in that things and naturally sometimes you may become upset also afraid of being confronted with uh, things that had belonged to um, a connection that no longer existed and now uh, that connection that was the bond that was the connection with that Uh, belongings and that all belongings were of the mother's belongings and because of that it may create problem it may disturb so here afraid of being confronted with things that had belonged to uh, a connection that no longer existed and that now connection that bond that my mother is no more so no longer existed which were hidden away in cupboards and boxes and waiting in a vein until uh, they were put back in their places again which had endured all those um, years because uh, they were the things now uh, whatever that belongings all that things it might be somewhere in the cupboard or any 
place and when that all the belongings would be uh, kept again to the same place and then all that memories uh, and then we can give the justice so here that was the again uh, psychologically means how somebody uh, would think about the mother's belongings and this is very effectively here it is presented so here which were hidden away in cupboards and boxes and waiting in vain until they were put back waiting in vain when means the uh, thing here now that thing does not have the value like that here waiting in vain until they were put back uh, in their place again and until i will uh, means take that all the belongings and i will keep that again on the same place then only the beauty of that the belongings the memories attached to that belongings and then the same bond that connection everything will regenerate again so here we can observe uh, the things which had endure all those years because they were things and because they were the things they were the belongings and it would endure again uh, it would again uh, recollect all that memories and that connection and the bond bond with the mother will again reflect in very good way so here uh, we can observe what is the thing we can observe here and that thing here but gradually everything became more normal again and here again this stating that everything become normal again uh, bread was getting to be lighter color there was a uh, bed you could sleep in unthreatened a room with a view we were more used to glancing at each other and one day i noticed i was curious about all the possessions that must still be at that address and again when all situations become normal the kids started thinking positively about uh, the possessions the belongings and she started thinking that all the belongings i should again uh, take it from the same place so uh, here the word it is used as a address and the title also it is given the address so here in this lesson the significance of the title the address the whole story moves around the place that is the marconi street number 46 so here the title it is very suitable the aft title as per the story i wanted to see them touch remember <laughs> and now here uh, emotionally we can observe and what is that emotion i wanted to see them touch remember and she wanted to touch all the belongings that uh, satisfaction we can observe and here uh, all the important things belongings of the mother she wanted to uh, remember all the memories connected with the things after my first visit in when mrs dorling's house i decide to try a second time now a girl of about uh, 15 open the door to me i asked her if her mother was at home no she said my mother's doing an errand no matter i said i'll wait for her so now Uh, up till the earlier uh, thing i wanted to see them touch remember and again she planned the second time to visit that place and here uh, on page number 12 we are observing that second time second meet so here after my first visit so now here the second visit um, the first visit was in when because there was no uh, output from that visit so here it was in when 
mm, to Mrs. Dorling's house, I decided to try a second time. Now, mm, a girl of about 15. So here, uh, we are observing the Mrs. S. daughter, then Mrs. Dorling, and one more character that is Mrs. Dorling's daughter. And Mrs. Dorling's daughter here, mm, age is mentioned about uh, 15. The girl of about 15 opened the door to me. I asked her if her mother was at home. And now, in the earlier visit, first visit, the woman opened the door, and that was the Mrs. Dorling. And now, in the second visit, who opened the door? Here, Mrs. Dorling's daughter opened the door. So here, what happened next? And that we will discuss in the uh, next video. Again, I would say, be safe at home, study regularly, because this is the world of competition. And I hope that you would enjoy. This is a serious uh, interpretation of all the belongings. And I hope you will study with sincerity. Thank you.